now the question is what they need to ask or what you need to find you need to find again what maximum permissible speed and what is given maximum speed Are, what is given four types of speed and they are asking what is speed that's why the story of the super elevation has to be clear otherwise you will get confused that in the question itself you are given four to five speed then ask, uh, they are asking also about the speed only we should be clear that this is the speed is a choice of railway ye unki ichcha hai ki humko 135 se gaadi chalani hai this is what the data to find the equilibrium speed and this is what they are asking what is the maximum possible because railway board want to run vande bharat with the 135 but you have to provide the super elevation as per this average speed or the equilibrium speed it means as per this speed the super elevation is given now vande bharat has to ask that bro can i come inside the bro will allow or not that bro will decide ai ba samajh mein it means again you need to calculate the maximum permissible speed first concern railway board ne kya sanction kiya what railway board sanction so that is 135 second super elevation se pucho then super do you have super elevation in the question sir not given are given na average speed given means super elevation given third transition curve need to ask if there is transition curve is given then you ask otherwise ignore if it is old method then fourth criteria martin also you need to ask old method if you are not following then forget about it otherwise one more uh, step will be added so now now very nice question it is from this question only i will give you lot of idea theek hai solution first of all first of all what is the e, v average or v equilibrium or v uh, actual that is the average of is 15 trains are running with 85 kmph 12 trains are running with 70 kmph 5 trains are running with 100 kmph 3 trains are running with 110 kmph divided by total number of trains this is just a weighted average simply weighted average so this comes out to be 84.14 kmph 84.14 kmph acha sanction speed 140 a question mein okay fine sanction speed 140 okay fine no issues so uh, 15 into 85 plus 12 into 70 plus 5 into 100 plus 3 into 110 divided by 15 plus 12 plus 8 84.14 so this is what uh, v equilibrium it means e equilibrium will be it means e equilibrium will be 1.750 gv square gv square divided by 127 r means what this is what r 1750 divided by 2 1.750 multiplied by 84.84 uh, divided by 127 multiplied by 1750 divided by 2 so this comes out to be 11 point 11 cm you have provided only 11 cm of the super elevation which is lesser than what 16.5 so completely fine clear so this is what super elevation you have provided Now just imagine why you are not able to why they are asking maximum speed why we are not able to run the Vande Bharat Express or let us try if we can run the Vande Bharat Express or not or I can say the speed of one forty so just imagine or I can say just calculate what is its demand just calculate what is the demand of it so demand of it is one forty square divided by one twenty seven one seven five zero divided by two this is what is the demand just uh, okay okay just wait okay one point seven five zero one forty square Divided by one twenty seven multiplied by one seven five zero divided by two. So the demand is thirty point eight six centimeter, and you have provided just eleven centimeter. For uh, I will say it thirty one. I will say it eleven. Okay. So if the demand is thirty one. You have provided eleven. What is the deficiency it is facing? I think Gaurav has asked the same question, sir. If the deficiency comes more than permissible, what is the deficiency coming right now? Twenty centimeter. It is more than permissible, na? it means what to do this train cannot come inside this train cannot come inside what this train have to do this, this train has to reduce its speed up to what value up to the value of the permissible limit it means we can provide up to the uh, what i can say verge of separation that is why we use this formula e theoretical is equal to e actual plus cd okay so this is what 1.750 we need to find that value which can which can be survive which can be survive easily 127 1750 divided by 2 we have provided 11.11 cm of this 11.11 cm of this converted into meter now tell me what cd i should choose what cd i should choose again two options i have 
either 7.5 or 10 centimeter because the two degree curve is given it means 100 percent train is going to run over more than 100 that's why they also want to run at 140 why they are wanting 140 because they know that we can run perhaps हम शायद इसको रन कर पाएंगे लेट्स सी रन कर पाएंगे नहीं कर पाएंगे बट ये सौ से ऊपर चलेगा इट विल रन अप टू मोर देन हंड्रेड बिकॉज बिकॉज द डिग्री ऑफ कर्व इज टू इन द क्वेश्चन टू डिग्री कर्व इज गिवन बिकॉज टू डिग्री कर्व इज गिवन सो डेफिनेटली योर ट्रेन इज गोइंग मोर देन हंड्रेड की एमपीएच हेन्स सी डी आई विल चूज वॉट टेन सेंटीमीटर इट मीन्स योर डिमांड इज थर्टी पॉइंट एट सिक्स लेटर से थर्टी वन सेंटीमीटर बट आई कैन गिव यू मैक्सिमम मैक्सिम आई कैन सेटिस्फाई द मैक्सिम डिमांड ऑफ वॉट ट्वेंटी वन सेंटीमीटर so now you have to reduce the speed in such a way that your demand should become what 21 cm so what is the speed what is the speed 11.11 .11 plus 10 multiplied by 127 1750 divided by 2 divided by 1.750 so your v max is becoming 116 kmph it means the train which expected to come at 140 kmph has to reduce the speed at 116 now are you actually satisfying the demand of 116 no still it is having the 10 centimeter less of the super elevation but that is completely fine that is completely fine as per the given laws practically train will run only up to 100 kmph or 110 kmph so just imagine instead of 140 you have to run up to 110 kmph okay one more thing i want to give you the idea about that here only can you tell me what is the slowest moving train over here the slowest moving train is 70 kmph just just ask this train what is your demand so demand of the slowest moving train is 1.750 70 square divided by 127 1750 divided by 2 this is the demand clear 1.750 70 into 70 divided by 127 1750 divided by 2 so the demand is 7.71 centimeter and what you have provided 11.11 .11. It means how much axis this train is facing. This train is facing the axis of 11.11 .11 minus 7.71. This is facing the axis of just 3.4 centimeter, which is completely permissible. That is why this train can move easily over this particular track. Just imagine if this can't axis is also not in limit. You have to change entire thing. Achha, can you tell me what is the slowest possible speed over this track like uh, highest possible speed is 116 can you tell me what is the slowest possible speed for slowest possible speed what the Kent axis value we will put 7.5 that is what given that is the maximum value slowest possible means e average is equal to e slow plus ce so what i can say uh, e average is 11.11 .11 is equal to e slow it means 1.750 v slow square divided by 127 1750 divided by 2 and can't access is 7.5 which is which is can be given for broad gauge track so let us see how much it is this is in meters so 11.11 .11 divided by 100 multiplied by 127 1750 divided by 2 sorry 11.11 .11 minus 7.5 divided by 100 multiplied by 127 1750 divided by 2 divided by 1.750 over root it means the v slow is coming as 47.87 kmph 47.87 kmph it means the slowest possible speed over this track is 47 if a train is coming with 47 kmph it demands very less super elevation but you have provided 11 it means the axis of 7.5 this train is facing and that is up, uh, that is what is in limit now just assume if a train is coming with 30 kmph it requires very less of the super elevation but you have provided 11 now the axis will be very high and that is not desirable so slowest speed possible over this track is 48 kmph and maximum speed possible is 116 kmph it means all the train will run in between 48 to 116 that also you can check over here all the train are running in between that only 48 to 116